Michael Cullen graduated from UCD in 1975 with a master's degree in business and commerce. A native of Monaghan, Michael then began his career working in the Dublin of the late 1970s. It was during this time that Michael was to first meet Tim Brosnan. And I was just uh, starting off as head of treasury uh, in ICC then and I needed to build the team. So I actually angled to, to get Michael uh, assigned to me and, and, and succeeded. It was during this period that Michael honed his entrepreneurial skills. He was a pioneer, he was uh, uh, incredibly uh, innovative. Uh, like he introduced things that seem quaint now, but uh, you know, uh, Irish pound swaps and commercial paper, think, uh, uh, you know, products that weren't in the market in those days. But that gave us the, the reputation to enable us to set up Gandon as uh, an investment banking operation, a standalone investment banking operation. Michael is a personable person. He is open, warm, hardworking, but friendship means everything to him. He's also very smart. Like he's a good analyst of, you know, of the world, of the situation. He's a good strategist. He's actually a good politician as well, uh, in the sense of kind of knowing what's possible and kind of knowing how to, how to make it happen. Michael is a great friend and very, very loyal but he's as straight as a die and always does the, the right thing. Michael is incredibly clever, but he's a hustler and very, very competitive. I remember uh, my first insight into that was not in business, but in sport. In the early days in Citibank, we used to play these inter-group uh, five-a-side competitions and uh, Michael wanted to win every one of those uh, little, little games against the, the competition. Uh, and he'd start off before each game and give us a pep talk. And it was always the same, I'll win the ball. As an entrepreneur, Michael was constantly looking at the way things were done at the time and trying to come up with ways of doing them better. And one of the things he always tried to do was not just have a, a business relationship, but have some relationship outside the office. And one of the early days he, he used to do the golf outings, but a Gandana outing was a very particular one. It was done incredibly well. Um, he, he would have great people around it and would be very well managed. And I think he was really ahead of his time in terms of identifying that link just between dealing with people in the office and dealing with them outside. And he used golf and skiing and a number of events to do that, but it was always done very professionally and people always spoke about the Gandon event. Michael was uh, one of my first ever paymasters. He, uh, he hired me to do a corporate day uh, down at Royal Dublin Golf Club. That was 1991, started in 1992. Um, that was Gannon Securities back then. Supporting upcoming sporting professionals is something that Michael has always tried to do and over the years has supported many, including Paul McGinley, Johnny Sexton and more recently, Stephanie Meadow. Sponsorship is very important, much more important when you're starting out than it is when you're finishing and hopefully become successful uh, because then you can kind of fund yourself. So, uh, you know, it's what I, what I um, appreciate so much about Michael and what he did is he's been there since day one, one of my very, very first sponsors, been very supportive right through, right through my whole career. It's something I'm very grateful for. Smart and all as he is, he can be delusional. Uh, like he has the delusion that Monaghan will one day win in All Ireland, uh, uh, which, uh, like, it's hard to, it's hard to fathom how he might think that, but he, but he does. Every time I meet him, his eyes light up when he talks about Monaghan GA. Every time I've seen him presenting here at Investec or at offsites, he finds some creative way to bring in Monaghan. He got involved exactly 10 years ago, I think it was 2008, he took over the sponsorship of the, of the Monaghan team and, and ever since then I've got to know Michael better and better year on year. So um, I know it's something that he's very proud of, um, being involved in Monaghan and, and sponsoring the team. But at the very first game as sponsor, Michael noticed a problem. There's nobody wearing the jerseys, they're all wearing the old jerseys. So he did a deal with all the local uh, sports shops. This is what we're going to do, we're going to invest some money here. Uh, anybody who hands in an old shirt, an old jersey, with the old sponsor's name on it, um, can buy a brand new one with Investec written on it for half price. So he took all the old ones out of circulation, got Investec all the way in, into circulation, and uh, I thought it was a, it was a brilliant brainchild um, uh, idea uh, from, uh, from a banker, uh, but obviously sort of marketeer, marketeering them come out as well. 
When I was uh, appointed uh, Minister for Arts, Heritage and the Gael I uh, received uh, in the post a parcel one day. And when I opened it up, I was delighted to receive uh, a Monaghan uh, jersey. And I thought to myself, well, there's Michael now. He's not going to let me forget about my roots. Congratulations, Michael. You're a most deserving winner. Many congratulations on behalf of myself and from all in Investec Ireland. Over the last 30 years or more, you've actually done a fantastic job of growing various businesses but more importantly growing great leaders. I hope you enjoy your night. From one man and man to another I'm delighted that you're getting this honour tonight. Huge congratulations to you um, to all in Investec and your family. This is a, a, an honour that's very well deserved and uh, I'm sure you, you and Marianne are going to have a great night. Michael congratulations on your award. Congratulations, Michael, on, on your award this evening. Uh, it's very well deserved. Michael, congratulations on your long and highly successful career. It's a tremendous credit to you, uh, to your family, and of course, uh, to the people of County Monaghan.